Welcome, this is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel and I am now answering question number four from the International A-Level LXL uh, Statistics S1 exam from June 2021. Question number four is about normal distribution. It says, Chris works in the mailroom of a large company and is responsible for all the letters sent by the company. The weights of the letters sent by the company, W grams, have a normal distribution with a mean of 165, 165 grams and standard deviation 35 grams. So the weights of the letters are such that they're normally distributed with a mean of 165 grams and a standard deviation, which means a variance of 35 squared. Okay, so that is the uh, information we need. It says estimate the proportion of letters sent by the company that lay wet that sorry that weigh less than 120 grams okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, use the normal distribution bell curve and um, show you how to answer by using that okay so here's a normal distribution bell curve and the mean is 165 so that's right here in the middle okay so this is the this is these are the the, the weight values and it says we want to find the proportion of letters sent by the company that weigh less than 120 grams. So that's going to be on this side over here. So 120 grams will be somewhere less than 165. Somewhere over there. And let me just make that a bit neater. One second. Okay, that's better there. So that's like... 120 grams okay now we want to find the proportion of letters that weigh less than 120 grams so we need to find like this area over here that's what we're trying to find okay we'll find what percentage that is now what we need to do is find the z values for this now the z value for the mean is zero that's like the standardized score we need to find how many standard deviations 120 grams is below the mean so we do that by using what's called uh, standardization of these scores into make them into what are called z scores for which we have the table for so we want to find the probability that the weight is less than 120 grams which is equal to the probability that z is less than so to standardize the score the the, the z the formula is z equals x minus mu over the standard deviation sigma so x is the score that you're standardizing mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation why did i put all the way across there sorry so it's z equals x minus mu over the standard deviation so here we have x which is the score we're standardizing minus the mean which is 165 divided by the standard deviation which is 35. So basically, we're finding the probability that Z is less than. If we work that out, that's going to be 125, 120 minus 165, 120 minus 165, minus 45 divided by 35, which gives us uh, minus 1.29. Minus 1.29. I'm going to keep it to two decimal places because our Z values are given to two decimal places in the table. Um, so we need to find the value of Z. Uh, we want to find the probability that Z is less than minus 1.29. Okay, now the table that we have, okay, for the Z values doesn't have negative Z values. It starts from zero, goes all the way up here. So our Z value here is minus 1.29. So what we can do is we can use the symmetry of our um, bell curve here. Okay, so we can use the symmetry of the bell curve. There is a point over here which is also, um, you know, basically symmetrical. The area to the right of this, okay, this is where Z is minus, is, is positive 1.29. Okay, and the area to the right of this is equal to the area to the left of this. Okay, now to find this area, we have to go to 1.29 in our table. Okay, and our table has the area to the left of the Z values given. So the probability that Z is less than minus 1.29 is equal to 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.29.
okay because the total probability the total area under this curve when we talk about z values is one so the whole area is one take away the area to the left of 1.29 leaves you with the area that we're looking for because this area is equivalent to that area so we go to our table and we look for 1.29 so we go to our table and we look for 1.29 on z and we find 1.29 it's right here and this is the value that we need I'll just take it in case I forget it and post it across on the other side. Okay, so we need that value. Let's just post it here. Okay, so that's the area. Basically, that refers to the probability that Z is less than 1.29. So we need 1 minus that. So 1 minus 0 0.9015, which equals, so we take a calculator, you have 1 minus 0 0.9015 and that gives us 0 0.0985 985 that's the probability that z is less than um 1.9 well z is less than minus 1.29 which corresponds to the probability that the weight so this is the probability that the weight is less than 120 grams because so there's the answer to part a. Okay, now for part B, we're told in part B that Chris splits the letters to be sent into three categories, heavy, medium, light, with one third of the letters in each category. So remember, we have the weight of the letters are such that they are normally distributed with a mean of 165 and a variance of 35 squared. That's the information we're given. Now I need to take my um, bell curve, which I've got one prepared here. Okay, and I need to split it up into three parts. Um, it says that one third are light, one third are medium, and one third are heavy. So let, let's, say, let's say that these lines split up the area into these categories here. Okay, it's not drawn very well, but no problem. So let's just say that this is one third of the letters. So that's going to be these are the light letters. You can say the light ones. Okay, so this is light, and this is also one third, and these would be the medium ones, and this is also one third, and these would be the heavy ones. Okay, we need to find the limits between the medium, between which the medium um, ones lie. So the W values, we don't know. We know this is 165. We've got to find what this is and what this is. Okay, now the Z values, this is of course zero. I want to find what these two values are. Now I have in my formula book positive z values, all right, and I know that in the formula book, if I if I have the if I use in the table which is the main table, I know the area to the left of the z value. So I know that, for example, this value here, let's call this um, z h, z for the high for the limit for the heavies, and this is the z medium, the start of the mediums. Okay, there's that, that ZH is the same as Z medium, but it's a negative value of it. Okay, so whatever Z medium is, this is like the opposite sign of it. That's what I know. That's one thing because it's symmetrical. The other thing I know is that the probability that, um, that ZH is, uh, let's have a look, the probability okay the probability that i'm looking for okay um that z is less than z h let's say the probability that z is less than z h is equal to the area of two-thirds it's equal to two-thirds because i'll just write it as two-thirds for now because it's going to be all of this area from here all the way back so it's one-third plus one-third which is two-thirds and two thirds, if I write it to four decimal places, is basically 0 0.6666, okay? Because our table has four decimal places in the area section. So if I go to the table and I look for 0 0.6666, okay, then I will be able to find what I'm looking for. So if I go back to my table and I look for an area of 0 0.6666, which I think I can find somewhere over here. The closest I can find to 0 0.6666, okay, is this one here. 
okay, where the Z value is 0 0.43. So I'll just take that in case I forget. Okay, so 0 0.6666, that's the closest I can find to it in the table. So I'm going to go there. Just in case I forget, I've just pasted it here. So I can see that. Okay. So using our table, we can say that the probability that Z is less than ZH is equal to uh, 0 0.43. So I know that this value is, sorry, not the probability. We know the probability. That's, that's, ignore that. That means ZH, sorry, ZH is equal to 0 0.43. Remember, this is the Z value and this is the area. Okay, so ZH is 0 0.43. So this is 0 0.43. That's the limit for the heavy, um, heavy parcels. Okay, or heavy letters. That's 0 0.43. And because of the symmetry of this curve, then this must be negative 0 0.43. So all I need to do now is standardize these two scores using our formula X, sorry, Z equals, to rearrange it for X in the end, Z equals X minus mu over the standard deviation. Okay, so we know um, the standard deviation, you know mu, we know what Z is, we need to find what X is. So for Z equals 0 0.43, we can say that 0 0.43 is equal to X, what we have to find, minus mu, which is 35 over the, sorry, mu, which is 165, that's the, the mean, Okay, so x minus 165 over the standard deviation, which is 35. And then we can say, therefore, x is equal to 165 plus 0 0.43 times 35. Okay, so x is equal to, oops, that's not my calculator. This is my calculator. So x is equal to 165 plus 0 0.43, oops. 165 plus 0 0.43 multiplied by 35 and that gives us 180.05 180.05 so let's round that to 3SF that's 180 grams okay so that is the upper limit and that's that's for the heavy and we got Z equals Minus, so that's Z heavy and this is Z medium. That's minus 0 0.43. If we standardize this score, we're going to get negative 0 0.43 equals X minus 165 over 35. So we can say X is going to be um, um, 165 minus 0 0.43 times 35. Okay, so you're going to have the same thing here, but just a minus. Okay, so you end up with 149.95, um, 149.95. If you round up to 3SF, we're going to get 150. So we can say that the, the weight for the medium letters lies between, you could say, 150 grams up to 180 grams. Those are the limits for the medium letters. Okay. So that's um, how we can answer part B. Okay, so that's the answer for part B. Now we're going to go on to part C. Okay, part C says a heavy letter is chosen at random. Find the probability that this letter weighs less than 200 grams. So again, I have my curve prepared. Okay, so now a heavy letter, remember, is at 180. That's the limit for the, that's the beginning of the one, the heavy letters, 180 grams. We know 165 was the median or the mean. And remember, it was the weight is such that it's normally distributed with a mean of 165 and a variance of 35 squared. Okay, so we want to find, the, basically a heavy letter is chosen at random. A heavy letter is anything greater than 180. Okay, so that's this area here. I'll use different colors so I can make it clear. So that's the, that's the, the, the heavy letter. So the probability of choosing a heavy letter is the probability 
of choosing a heavy letter is going to be equal to one third. Okay, that, that's basically 0 0.333, one third. I'll just use it as a, fra as a fraction. That's, that probability is one third. We want to find the probability that this letter weighs less than 200 grams. Now, 200 grams, let's say, is over here. Let's say that's 200. So we want to find the probability that the letter is in this area here. Okay, so basically, we want to find the probability that the letter weighs less than 200 grams, but given that it's a heavy letter. Okay, so this is like the probability of A given B. The probability that it weighs less than 200 grams given that it's heavy. So the probability of A given B is a conditional probability where you find the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. So what we've got to do is we've got to find the probability that it lies in this region between 200 and 180. Okay, and then we've got to divide that with the probability of it being heavy. So we've got to find that that's the probability that it weighs less than 200 grams intersection with it being heavy divided by the probability that it's heavy okay so i need to find this area here which is this intersection okay so i want to find the probability that um w is basically between that w is between 180 and 200 Okay, and divide that by the probability that it's heavy, which is, means it's W is greater than 180. W is greater than 180 grams. That's what I have to find. Okay, so how do I find this? So that's a probability that you have Z between, let's standardize this score. So it's between 180 and 200. So basically, um, it's going to be, I don't have to worry too much because I know Okay, I know the area to the left of this, to the left of this is 0 0.6666. Okay, the area to the left of this. I need to find, so it's basically going to be the probability that uh, the W is less than 200. Take away the probability that W is less than 180. Okay, that's going to be this area here. Okay, so I know what this is already. This is 0 0.666. I need to find what this is. So the probability that W is less than 200 is what I need to focus on. That's equal to the probability that Z is less than 200 minus 165 over 35, which is equal to the probability that Z is less than, that's 35 over 35, which is 1. So I need to go to my tables and look for the probability that Z is less than 1. Okay, so that's not too difficult to do. Let's go back to the table. Let's look for the Z value of 1. It's right here. So it's 0 0.8413. Again, I'll just copy it in case I forget or write it down wrong. It's easy to copy it down wrong. So we're over here now. So we need to, f we can just post it here. Where's it gone? There we are. Yep. So, so I've got here, just leave it over there for now. So the probability that Z is less than 1 is 0 0.8413. So the probability that W is between 180 and 200 is equal to 0 0.8413 minus 0 0.6666. Okay, because... Um, the probability that Z is less than 180 is 0 0.6666. The probability that Z is less than 200 is what we just found, 0 0.8413. So this is the probability that Z is between those values. So if I do 0 0.8413 minus 0 0.6666, 0 0.6666, I'm going to have 0 0.1747. 0 0.1747. Okay, so that is going to be this part of our fraction. So what we need to do is we're going to have 0 0.1747 divided by the probability that the weight is greater than 180, which is one third. So divided by one third, and that will give us our answer. So we take this answer, divide it by one over three, 
and we end up with 0 0.5214 or 5241 sorry 5241 so we can say therefore our answer is 0 0.5243 sf and that's the answer to this question that the probability that the letter chosen as the probability that the weight is less than 200 given that it's heavy so we can say that that's the probability that the weight is less than 200 grams given that it's a heavy letter is equal to that amount okay so there's the answer to part c now for part d part d says chris cho chooses a random sample of three letters from those in the mail room one day find the probability that there is one letter in each of the three categories so when he picks out the letters one should be light one should be heavy and one should be medium so let me put it in order one should be light one should be medium and one should be heavy and each of these have a probability of one third so it's one third times one third times one third however this is not the only combination you could have had the first is light and the second is heavy and the third is medium or you could have had the first is medium and the second is light and the third is heavy or you could have had the first is medium and the second is heavy and the third is light or you could have had the first is heavy the second is light and the third is medium or you could have had the first is heavy the second is medium and the third is light altogether that's six different outcomes so you have to take this and multiply it by six because you're going to have one third times one third times one third plus one third times one third times one third and so on now okay so this can be written as one third to the power of three times six which gives you that's one over 27 so six over 27 and which gives you um, three goes into each of these that's two over nine so that's the probability that there's one letter in each of the three categories two over nine and there's the answer to part d um other questions from this paper can be found in the link that will appear at the end of the video in this area. Other questions about um, this topic of normal distribution can be found by clicking on the link that should appear in this area at the end. You can subscribe to my channel by the link over here. The card at the top of the video which would have been appearing during the video will take you to another S1 paper and you can access all my other material um, from my a AS and A-level material and my IGCSE material from the description under the video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.